Well, there is the recently released new floor plan by Forest River Vibe. This is gonna be the brand new 2023 Forest River Vibe, model number 26RB. The RB stands for rear bath, so the bathroom is located all the way in the back. Your living area is in the middle, and your bedroom is gonna be in the front. Total length of 32 feet, 6,339 pounds as it currently sits. Hitch weight on this model estimated to be right around 950 pounds. And yes, with the slide closed, you're still gonna have access to the refrigerator. But well, we are gonna start on the outside of the coach first and go over a few different features before we head inside. But be sure to check the link found down in the description, which takes you back to our website to view more additional photos as well. But if you're new here, we welcome you to the channel. Continue to show your support by leaving your feedback in the comment section down below. And let's get started. So the model you're going to be viewing today is a brand new 2023 Forest River Vibe, model number 26RB. And of course the RB stands for rear bath with the bathroom being all the way in the back. And that's just really interesting when it comes to a travel trailer because normally that bathroom is located up here by the bedroom. So changing things up like that around inside is going to give you a really, really large bathroom. And right now online, all the specs are listed as to be determined. So let's take a look to be exact. 32 feet of total length. Now that's of course, including the spare tire and the tongue jack found here in the front. 6,339 pounds unloaded. So that's minus all of your stuff. Let's take a look at the gross vehicle weight rating. 8,080, you're gonna be riding on two twin 3,500 pound axles resting on derated tires and it looks like you got right at 1700 pounds of additional cargo capacity for this new model that has recently hit the market laminated sidewalls slides cable driven slides vibe is known for its camp anywhere package which is a 200 watt solar panel found on the roof just enough to keep the house battery charged to keep the lights on which of course can in turn keep the water heater lit you also have standard with that camp anywhere package a fully enclosed and heated underbelly with 12 volt tank heaters to keep everything from freezing and speaking of holding tanks that's another thing that's not listed on the website you've got four total tanks 40 gallons of fresh 30 gallons of black and black of course coming directly from the toilet You've got two gray tanks for a combined total of 60 gallons. And that's because your kitchen's up here, so you've got a gray tank up here, and your main gray and black will be back here. Fresh water, of course, being in the front. Outdoor camp kitchen, but something different. You've got an electric cooktop. Typically, you're gonna find a propane burner, maybe one or two burners, so that's different. No plumb sink, just a little basin hot point miniature fridge and of course this does not work while going down the road the camper must be plugged in for this fridge to work spray port those are always nice television connections found here i don't see a sticker though mounting a place for a television so maybe you could place a table there 20 foot awning with led lights found underneath the awning material 30 inch wide door with a friction hinge these are more ride steps the more ride steps are a lot easier to adjust than other makes on the market and they also give you the bigger platform to assist with that transition going into the camper friction hinge also on the door let me point out the storage compartment real quick really really big pass-through compartment dimensions are probably right at three and a half feet wide by maybe two maybe two and a quarter tall baggage doors right at a half inch thick twisty locks magnetic latches to hold those up so your electric stabilizers have two sets of controls one in the front plus one in the rear these are only going to go down to it feels about maybe 10 pounds of pressure before it completely turns off so you must keep the camper relatively level let's go ahead and come around to the back so one thing the the market is doing 
and I wish it wouldn't, is they've kind of removed a lot of ladders from different makes and models, replacing it with the component for you maybe to buy your own type of ladder, kind of an interchangeable thing, but RV roof maintenance is something that must be done. So why remove it? Leave it standard. That's my opinion though. What do you guys think? Good place to store your sewer lines when you're finished camping, of course, is gonna be the back bumper, four by four tubular bumper. There's your shot of the rear jacks. That's gonna be the main hookup for your sewer. So great and black handles here and way in the front. That is gonna be that additional gray. And I really like this here. This is kind of nice. So your city water connections back here by the outdoor shower. So whenever you're finished doing all the nasty with your sewer, you've got a place to wash your hands, keeping everything nice and clean. Oh, you're not cross, you know, contaminating everything. But before we go inside, take a look at the spread on these axles. Absolutely massive, right out of 24, almost 27 inch spread, causing the vibe to have a lot more smoother ride than some of its other competitors on the market. Let's go ahead and head inside model 26RB where I've got all the blinds opened at the moment just to show off all that natural sunlight. That's one thing Vibe takes pride in is claiming that they have the largest windows in the industry for a travel trailer of this size. No tint found on any of the windows either but they are trimmed out with a black roller shade. Typically, you'll find a valance wrapped around the window, but they have opted out of that and replaced that valance with a curtain material. But sometimes I feel like too much natural sunlight isn't a good thing for a video, so let's go ahead and get these closed. Much better now that we got those closed. I like to go ahead and just come over here and sit down, pan around the room to kind of disorientate yourself with the layout in general. Rear bath, floor plan, kind of a middle living layout bedroom all the way in the front and at first i was kind of hesitant with the model i was like looking at the kitchen from here and i was like mm, you're kind of lacking on storage but then i glanced over this way to look at the view from the television and i was like well what is that do y'all see that what is that and i quickly discovered a ton of hidden storage in this model 26 rb so this kind of makes up for the lack of store space that this smaller kitchen does give you but overall if you're maybe a smaller couple and you need to sleep too mainly and you want to bring maybe a grandson along or grandchild excuse me or just another guest you do have sleeping for three kitchen kind of tucked away in the corner limiting you with just three cabinets these are trimmed out with a glass accent feels kind of really solid too your kitchen kind of, like I said, tucked away in the corner. You do have a decent amount of counter space. Black appliances. This is a Furion brand. They give you the matching drawer for larger pots and pans here on the bottom. And of course, this is about a standard size that you're going to find in an RV of this size. Maybe enough room for a smaller pizza or a pan of biscuits. Here's your three burners on the top. Love the backsplash, how they wrap it all the way around the kitchen and they also extend it from the counter to the bottom of the cabinets. Some make some models, I don't know why they'll do it, but they only put it at least 12 inches up and it just doesn't look very good at all. Continuing over 12 volt fridge, this does work off that battery power and of course it's the Camp Anywhere package. So this is one thing that will stay cold if you were just trying to do some boondocking. MSRP. Let's go ahead and look at that while we are here. MSRP of $58,062. For pricing and availability, I always leave a link found in the description, which takes you back to view more additional photos as well as the price of each one of the makes and models. Let's come back this way and look over the bathroom real quick. And that's one thing. When the bathroom's located back in the back, it typically gives you the largest bathroom that you'll find in a travel trailer of this size another additional pantry so just loads and loads of pantry space for a travel trailer of this size 26 feet box 31 32 feet total length plastic foot flush toilet but just look at the room you've got right around four feet of walking space inside the bathroom your linen closet to the left rather deep but right at six foot nine, probably a six, seven inch step up to get into the shower. 
Additional headroom with a skylight. Your shower curtain is retractable. I do recommend leaving this in the open position once you're done showering, but the manufacturer claims it's a self-drying curtain and it kind of squeegees itself when you retract it, but I'm still gonna go with the old school method that my mother taught me. Leave the shower curtain open when you're done showering. Your bathroom vanity has a decent amount of counter space more additional storage and again those are right at 24 inches deep this is going to be your medicine cabinet overall the pressure of the bathroom is i'm really really impressed with the amount of room that you have especially the ceiling height six foot nine that's absolutely impressive theater seats with additional storage last year this the furniture was more tan and the feedback coming from the customers where they disliked the lighter color. So the vibe went with the darker color this year. I've also gone ahead and laid flat the booth, showing you exactly how much sleeping room you have, right at five foot 11, so an adult could comfortably sleep on that table. Let's go up and look at the bedroom area now. So again, another sliding pocket style door, tan in color last year, these were darker queen size mattress with a hanging closet on both sides those closets are also trimmed out with almost a full body mirror continue to like and subscribe tell me what you think of the different makes that i show you what do you like what do you dislike we do order our inventory based upon some of your feedback so the coach is also going to be outfitted with two coleman mock air conditioners let me back up and go over this one first this one here is going to be a 15k it is going to be what's called ducked all the way throughout the coach. So you notice the different vents throughout the ceiling. There's one. You'll have another one in the bedroom and so forth all the way throughout. So this is a 15K. It's not a whisper quiet. But it's absolutely just the, like the perfect home to fall asleep to. Your bedroom area up here is outfitted with a 13.5. This one's just designed to cool this bedroom area here. But also keep in mind that that 15K found in the back will also cool this bedroom here. You do have some additional storage under the bed. And this is something that made me really happy when I saw this. The 21s and 22s, when it came to underneath the bed, they never have the hydraulic cylinder. So that's something they've improved on. I really like seeing that. This is going to be the solar charger controller, which just pretty much monitors that house battery, keeping it from being overcharged or possibly undercharged. Hanging closet. Both sides are going to have a shelf tucked away nicely. You will have 110 and 12 volt outlets provided. And this is kind of an odd situation here or an odd place for a TV right over here on that wall so you have to have kind of a corner mount i do recommend having a professional install that i've had one in the past that came in where the customer drilled straight through the wall and he had screws penetrating on the outside so just have a professional do that but overall i'm kind of impressed with this really lightweight compact and a really good quality travel trailer but i'm curious to know your feedback so let me know down below continue to like and subscribe come see us